Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I'll be showing you guys how to activate the Futaba radio timer so that whenever the phantom lifts off from the ground, the timer automatically activates and whenever you land the phantom, the timer stops. So, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So turn on your radio. As you can see up here, this is the timer. And to activate it, whenever you start your phantom, basically you have to go like that. And then to activate it, I set up my on switch when I elevate the phantom. So as I press the joystick towards up, the timer will start running automatically. So as you can see right here, I'm going to press up on my left stick here. And there goes the timer. Okay, so as I land my phantom, I set up my timer so that when I land, it automatically turns off the timer. As I put the joystick down, all the way down, the timer stops. Okay, and then I program the SH switch over here to reset the timer. Start it on. Stop. And the timer reset okay so I'll show you guys how to do that all right so what you want to do is go to T1 scroll up and press enter all right so you have all the settings here you could even set up your alarm when to activate it. It will send a vibration or an alarm sound once you reach 10 minutes. So to activate the start and stop for your timer, you have to go over here. Press enter. And here you can pick whatever, which switch you want to program your start and off timer. So in my case, I want to use J3 which is the joystick. So you want to press enter and then go to the on and off switch to the right side over here and press enter. So from here, this is where you set up your starting point and ending point of your timer. So you go set and then with your joystick, when I move up and down, you'll see the arrow move up and down as well. So you could set up which starting point you want to activate your timer. In my case, I want to activate the timer in that position. So once you've decided which position you want it to activate, all you have to do is just press enter. It will highlight the starting point. So if you notice that the switch off is on the top and the on is at the bottom, what you could do is go down here, press reverse, enter, and then scroll to normal and you will see that the switch off is on top and on is at the bottom okay so just click that again to put it back okay now let's set up the stop for the timer same method press enter J3 go on and off and then the same method you go to set Okay, and then you just pick which point you want your timer to stop. You could stop it there, but in my case, I want it right about there. Okay, and again, if this is backward, all you have to do is just go to the norm and put it in reverse. Okay, okay, so for the reset button, you want to program the SH switch right here so go to T1 again press enter and scroll down to reset okay press enter and then again you can pick whatever switch program you want but in my case I want the SH click enter SH, click enter, go to on and off, and then here's your switches. So right now if I flick the switch, it will go on. If I let go, it will turn off. So if this is the other way around, you could alternate it by pressing on the on and then just scroll it. Okay. Alright, so there you go guys. 
Oh, 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 oh,